I'm Dred Scott, make revolutionary art to propel history forward. I mean, I don't think that, that sort of art, art should be, in an instrumentalist sense, a tool for political change, but I do think people are thinking about things, and the art should enable them to, to dream about how the world could be radically different. I strive to have my work be ex accessible to a broad audience. Um, I mean, I think that sort of people, regardless of whether they have a, a master's degree or a PhD in art, should be able to understand the basic parameters of the work as deeply and richly as somebody who has one of those degrees. And then people may see different things. I mean, it's like, you know, when I've shown work, you know, one of the, the sort of things that really sort of steeled my will to continue to make art was when I was in art school, the, the, I had this artwork that became the center of national controversy over its use of the American flag. And I had people from housing projects going, waiting in line an hour at, you know, an art school museum or gallery to, to see my work. And not only that, they would call in talk shows and they would give me not only political support, but give me art, art criticism. And their insights were different than sort of the art historians and critics, sometimes both of which liked the work, but they had different views of it. Um, and they were both very important. I mean, it was an interactive installation that, that enabled people to write responses to the question, what's the proper way to display a U.S. flag? And, you know, somebody wrote, you know, the police, you know, killed my brother. Then they went over to kick over his body to make sure the nigger was dead. That cop was wearing a flag. Now, that's not the same response that somebody who wrote um, that sort of, th they felt ashamed of this country because people were trying to kill me for making this work. They, I mean, each pe people liked the work and they wanted to respond to it and engage with it, but it was different when it was, you know, people, you know, who had the experience of their brother being killed by the police. And, and um, you know, so I, I think that, that the work, that work and other work is accessible. I strive, strive to make it accessible, but also really hard hitting on some of the, the most significant, you know, questions confronting humanity at the moment. The other, you know, the never forget, never forgive, they left us to die was something, you know, about New Orleans and and that was really actually trying to take sort of sensibility from the streets and bring it into a gallery setting and kind of pose the question for a gallery going on and a museum going on in. Why is it that, that it would be potentially left to kind of an activist street culture to remember people who died in Hurricane Katrina. That, you know, the, you know, I live in New York and the paper of record, the New York Times, did story after story after story of people who died in the World Trade Center. And they should have. It was a you know, tragic loss of life. Um, but nothing like that happened around the people who died in the storm around Hurricane Katrina. And sort of, and you know, the reason is that one set of people was being used to justify and expand a war of, uh, for empire and the other one was, you know, sort of a great crime of the system, leaving people to suffer and die. And so I was, po you know, trying to bring the, the sensibility of the street and activism into a gallery and pose the question of how, who is remembered and why and how are they remembered and what are their lives for and how should people conceive of, you know, deaths that are clearly part of social phenomenons. I think that over the, you know, past over a couple decades, I've actually learned some stuff that that if artists are trying to make work in this vein that are, that are, you know, sort of, in a certain sense, no compromise, but actually trying to not just be for the street or not just be for galleries, um, and, and specifically art that actually is trying to be part of, you know, helping to contribute to building a movement for revolution, there's something that I know that I've sort of demonstrated and made over years of, of doing the work and I think that seeing this work helps people whether they're young or old to, to figure out ways to do it themselves and so I hope that it gives that license but also a, a new understanding of it.